At six, the pandemic raising fears that the drug crisis could worsen with social social isolation, economic stress and disrupted access to treatment. Data from the CDC shows the drug overdose deaths reached a record high of more than 93,000 deaths in 2020. These numbers aren't final and the pandemic isn't over yet. CBS 46's Crystal Bowie investigates how authorities are working to stop illegal drugs from reaching your neighborhood. Crystal. Rick and Sean, to get a closer look on just how many drugs are being trafficked into Georgia, we went to the port of Memphis, Tennessee, where agents are working to stop those narcotics from getting to the streets. There's people I would have never even thought of using that have started. The pandemic made my uh, drug abuse worse. Jason DeVault and Frederick Allier both went to Westcare Georgia Youth Academy for substance abuse treatment during a time when drug addiction is on the rise. My drugs of choice were meth, um, weed, acid, and that was uh, Molly, I guess. Um, basically, whatever I could get my hands on. As the CDC reports 2020 as the largest single year percentage increase of overdose deaths on record since 1999. There's a lot more narcotics. U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents are trying to stop drugs from getting into the hands of Americans. What we have here is some powder. The agents in Memphis, Tennessee are seizing narcotics. Many packages were bound for Georgia. What you're looking at is uh, pill press dyes. They stop nearly 8,000 pounds of drugs every day. It is noticeable and it is drastic. Including this bag of pills heading to Lawrenceville. It is approximately 1.2 kilos. With borders being shut down during the pandemic, drug dealers are resorting to shipping narcotics. Volume has picked up, uh, therefore narcotics interdictions will pick up as well. The drug seizures are adding up so fast, it's all hands on deck to try and squash drug dealers' inventory. We've added uh, new staffing to combat the large amounts of narcotics and violations that we're seeing come through the Port of Memphis. Methamphetamine is by far the most seized narcotic going to Atlanta and Savannah, followed by heroin, cocaine, and then fentanyl. The powder will be shipped separately, the pill press will be shipped separately, and the dyes will be shipped separately. But each package they intercept could end up preventing another person from becoming addicted to drugs. Really, you're trying to fight three different fronts at one time, so it does make the job more difficult. Crystal Bowie joins us live in studio and Crystal Georgia's Health Department tracks the number of drug overdoses that lead to emergency room visits every month. Are the numbers getting any better? Unfortunately, they're not, Sean. In September alone, 1,341 Georgians ended up in the emergency room for drug overdose. That's more than 44 people on average every day. Sean and Rick. All right, thank you, Crystal. We are following.